What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news regarding Tyson Fury. According to Frank Warren, Tyson Fury will fight a top five opponent in his next fight. So a lot of people were worried about the type of opposition. They were everyone's pissed off about the rematch with Wilder not happening. But he is having a top five opponent. Now, who that opponent is, we really don't know. You know, a lot of a lot of names pop up. You know, you have uh Dillian White, you have Ortiz, you have a lot of these fighters pop up, but you know, um, we don't really know as of yet, you know. Um, it would be impressive to see Tyson Fury get in with a top five opponent to show his skills at that level, you know, because remember, Tyson Fury was a voluntary for Wilder. He wasn't a mandatory. You know, if everything would have been on the course, Wilder should have fought his mandatory, which is Dominic Brazil. Now these guys finally settled the score. He's finally fighting his mandatory. The second time as his career fighting his mandatory, mind you. Okay. Um, so Tyson Fury for the contract will at least hopefully make an impressive performance against whoever in the top five. You know, um, I think Fury's done a lot for boxing. I think Fury has done a lot for the ambassador of mental health, you know, because a lot of people, he goes on seminars now. He does more than just boxing. You know, he's, he's a showman by heart, you know, he's a boxer by trade. And, you know, when you put those two together uh, versus, um, <laughs> mental health, something that he was uh, battling with, you know, he helped a lot of people, encouraged a lot of people to come forth, you know, before they decided to end it all in their life. Because if you notice, there's been a lot of suicides lately, you know what I mean? Either, you know, George Foreman's daughter just killed herself, you know, and, and like, and it's just one of those things. Maybe it's the medication, maybe it's self-esteem, maybe it's a chemical imbalance. We don't know. However, we all need encouragement, you know, because everyone gets depressed, you know, but, you know, a lot of people don't get depressed enough to commit suicide. But then here's the deal. A lot of people do. So the percentage of people that are having these problems where they decide, you know what, I want this pain to stop. I want this problem to stop, you know, so I'm going to end it all. Tyson Fury, you know, has went from um, place to place, you know, all around the world, you know, to have seminars to help people cope with the idea of living. You know, the idea of, yeah, you have a mental or a chemical imbalance that, you know, things need to be discussed and understood, you know. So it is uh, very impressive for uh, Tyson Fury because, you know, that goes far beyond boxing. You know, um, he just happens to be a boxer that went through this episode. So, you know, he can help others with that. And a lot of people don't bring that to the forefront. And understand what Tyson Fury is actually doing. A lot of people think it's a scam or, you know, or, 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 or um, a fraud. But no, mental illness is really real when someone decides in their mind and they let their mind decide that, hey, I want to kill it myself or end it all. You know, so it, it is very, very important, <laughs> you know. So um, I think Tyson Fury, you know, I wish him well in his uh, career. The top five opponent he is facing, we don't know. I will be there to let you guys know about that. Of course, um, you guys stay tuned for that video. Tell me what you think about Tyson Fury's top five opponent, who you think it should be. Um, of course, please subscribe. And you guys have been counterpunched. Peace.